Hi guys, our next video will be about how to simplify expressions with zero and negative exponents. Any number raised to the power of zero will be equal to one except for zero. And if we're going to have negative exponent x to the power of negative n, this will be equal to one over x to the power of N. Let's have some examples. Number one, two, quantity of 2x squared y cubed raised to the power of 0. Now in here, if we're going to simplify this one, any number raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1, so this will be 1. Number two, a to the power of 0 b squared c, c cubed. So a to the power of 0 is 1, so 1 times b squared c cubed so 1 times b squared c, c cubed that will be equivalent to b squared times c cubed number 3 5a to the power of negative 2 b cubed c to the power of negative 5 so we're going to have 5 then a to the power of negative 2 we're going to use this one x to the power of negative n is equal to 1 over x to the power of n so this will be 1 over a squared, then times b cubed, then c to the power of negative 5 is equivalent to 1 over c to the power of 5. So your answer here will be 5 times 1 times b cubed times 1 will be 5b cubed over a squared times c5 to the power of 5 will be a squared c to the power of 5. Or another way of solving this one, if we're going to have a negative exponent in the numerator, you're going to put that one to the denominator and make the exponent positive. Conversely, if we're going to have a negative exponent in the denominator, you can put that expression to the numerator and make the exponent positive. So in here, you can answer this one as this is a to the power of negative 2 and c to the power of negative 5. So these two will automatically be put in the denominator. So this will become, we're going to put that one, a squared c to the power of 5. Then, again in here, you're going to make the negative exponent positive. So this will become a squared. Then negative 5 will become positive 5 and the remaining number will be on the numerator so 5 b cubed so you'll just have the same answer with our first procedure let's have number 4 a to the power of negative 5 b squared c to the power of negative 3 over x to the power of 5 y to the power of negative 7 z to the power of negative 4 so in here applying the procedure in solving for number 3, you're going to put the expressions with negative exponent from the numerator to the denominator and from denominator to numerator and changing the negative to positive side. So in here, in the numerator, we have a to the power of negative 5 and c to the power of negative 3. So we're going to put this one to the denominator and make the negative sign as positive and for the denominator y to the power of negative 7 and z to the power of negative 4 you're going to put that one to the numerator and also changing the sign from negative to positive so in here what's left will be b squared then a to the power of negative 5 will become a to the power of 5 then c to the power of negative 3 will become c cubed then, what's left here in the denominator is x to the power of 5. And in here, this will become y to the power of 7 and z to the power of 4. Okay, for number 5, for our last example, 3x cubed raised to the power of 0 times the quantity of y squared z cubed squared over quantity of 2a squared raised to the power of 0 
times 3b squared c cubed raised to the power of negative 3. So in here, this is raised to the power of 0, so this is equivalent to 1. Then times y squared z cubed squared. Then for the denominator, this is 2a squared to the power of 0, so this is equivalent to 1. Then multiplied to 3b squared c cubed raised to the power of negative 3. Then 1 times this one will be the same, so we're going to have y squared z cubed squared. So in here, this is equivalent to 3b squared c cubed raised to the power of negative 3. Then this is negative 3 here, so this will become, or you can put this denominator to the numerator, so your answer will be y squared z cubed squared then times 3 b squared c cubed raised to the power of 3 this, is, this will now become 3 then applying power of a power product so this will become y squared squared will be y to the power of 4 then z cubed squared this will become z to the power of 6 then times 3 cubed will be 3 times 3 times 3 will be 27. B squared cubed will be B to the power of 6. C cubed cubed will be C to the power of 9. So our answer here will be just arranging the factors. We're going to have 27. Then B to the power of 6. C to the power of 9. Then y to the power of 4, and last will be z to the power of 6. I hope this video helped you. Thank you and goodbye.